Uh, also, make sure you get your um, s stuff updated. I think uh, the druid still had two wild shapes, even though I think he only has one now. Yeah. Um, All right. And make sure you like delete the potions you used from your inventory. <laughs> I'll do that before I just. That's all right. Anyway, so you guys, f I guess the dust settles once again. Um, so yeah, last time you guys d uh, convinced uh, freaking Kara or Kara Lore to uh, join you guys in this escapade into infiltrating a keep that turned into fighting the keep and fighting the keep, to keep part two. And now we're in fighting the keep part three. So dust settled and you guys got to the main keep. Um, you guys have killed many, many people, suffered many, many wounds, and uh, the last thing that you guys ran into was, I don't know, about the hundredth time you guys said, oh, there can't be anything possibly left, and then the things from the freaking church showed up, and uh, you guys uh, fought off the, the priest guy and the two reavers that came in. Um, everyone's looking pretty worse to wear, except for maybe possibly the warlock. Um, Kara is currently wiping blood from her lip and, and kind of favoring her ribs at this point after she got blasted with magic missiles. And, uh, yeah, it's all you guys. Uh, for the moment, there is no initiative. Does my owl who's flying outside see anything at the moment approaching the keep? Hmm. Let's see. Let's take a look here, owl. Steve the Owl, named after your wonderful, wonderful patron, Steve the Solar. Uh, let's see, dark vision, 120 feet, yada yada. I'm going for consistency here, man. Uh-huh. All right. So you do your little contact thing of um, with Steve the Owl, and you do see through his eyes... It uh, looks to be kind of a soured face fellow. Uh, appears to be a human male. Uh, kind of has a drooping mustache. And he's kind of just storming out and fuming because um, he's seen all this dead in a burning barracks. And then his eyes look up at the owl that is circling. And... Let's see. One. Oh. Oh, maybe. Maybe. No. <laughs> he extends his hand out, and you definitely can end, uh, wreck it. Well, the last moment you saw through the, owl, the, the eyes of your owl was an Eldritch Blast. Two of them going straight for your owl. The first one misses, and the second one blasts it, blasts it out of the sky. Poor, poor owl. He served, he served me well. <laughs> so the answer is yes, he saw something. <laughs> that was the last thing okay. he saw. Where in general relation to the building? Because I know the barracks are technically, I guess, south of us. The yeah, church is to the yeah, east. Yeah, the barracks of is us. kind of centered, and that's kind of where. He, I mean, I figured your owl is kind of circling in the center. So he okay. and since the owl's vision is literally 120 feet, it's it's just within range of a eldritch blast. Unfortunately, indeed. All right. So all right. Yeah. Go for it. Okay, guys. There's at least a warlock left outside that's um, not very happy at the moment. I'm not sure we can handle <laughs> any more fresh enemies. Uh, I'm just letting you know what's what's out there. That, But that's it. That's all I saw was a, a warlock. So at the front double doors, which are currently still barred, um, you hear a loud... Are they over here? Uh, they're... They're, yeah, I'm not, they're in that direction. Right now you're in the second floor. Um, you hear a thud and a bit of jiggling. And then uh, nothing else at the moment. I guess uh, there's no option of uh, could try to run away now or get ready for this attack as, as I, I guess, ready my, uh, my weapon. I can, I might be able to make myself sustain a little bit longer, if we must. Is Echo that the chains were coming from down there? Uh, yeah, the, the main, the front door, or I guess the double doors that were barred are literally down um, 
on the first floor. Do I hear anything on the other side of the door that is currently behind us? Uh, do, do, do. Oh, you're just short. No, uh, you don't really hear anything. Let me check to see if there's anything in particular that might stand out. No, you don't hear anything through it. Well, we can wait for them to come to us here, or we can continue pressing forward into the unknown. I'll leave that decision. Oh, man. I will say that your high perception check uh, makes you hear something that sounds like flowing water towards the front door now. I think they're trying to break down the door with water. The door to our la to the west. The the main door, the big door we can't see from here. I I I Oh. Okay. Oh, I can see it now. Door, let's go through this one. Let's see. Is the door unlocked? Uh let me check. Uh boo 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 boo. Boop, 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 boop. Hmm. Let me guess, I check the front page, don't I? Jerry uh, George, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say it's locked. It is locked? Yep. Also, you hear the flowing water coming closer. Well, water's getting closer, guys. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, um, and the door's locked, so yeah. Uh, what would it take to kick the door in? I don't know, probably strength check. Someone who's more of a kicker than me? <laughs> Down. I'm not bad, I guess. Yep. We do have a barbarian. And here we go. I think you need the flying kick into the thing if need be. I attempt. Kick open the okay. door. You. I. What's up? Oh, okay. Carry on. All right. So you kick open the door. As that's happening, you see what looks to be a serpent made out of water flow upstairs. And we'll go ahead and start with a wonderful, wonderful initiative. Lovely. Yeah. I'm a little shocked that I'm not, my NPCs aren't rolling super high anymore. Uh, oh, you used a lot of good rolls last night. I didn't use night. any rolls last night. <laughs> not a single one. All I did was watch. No, you sold some stuff uh, at the end, yeah. remember? Yeah, that was, that was strenuous. <laughs> hey. All right. Uh, what's, your, what's your dex bonus, uh, uh, Zoran? Three. We'll see what comes up on top. All right, Kara wins because of alphabetical. <laughs> All right. So, serpent made of water. Uh, goes to, um, Druid Burton. All right. Uh, I'm going to... Wild Shape, he's my second Wild Shape, and I'm turning into a panther. Yay, I get to look up new monster stats. It... Terrible. That bad. So bad. It, it's not like a panther has, like, spider, like... Wall yeah, climbing it, it will give you the extra abilities that you feel like you're obligated to use. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was trying. I was obligated. I was actually trying to do something. All right. So, I'm just like no, and I'm like no. You did. You well. let you do it. You just sat up there. <laughs> so your HP is now thirteen, uh, and your AC yeah. is twelve. And I'll just leave that open. And by open, I mean minimized. Uh, all yep. right, goes to Kara. Kara's like, ugh. <laughs> Steps out, looks at that thing, goes, ugh. <laughs> Can't trip. Okay, Can't trip. Use Ray of Frost. And misses. 
And then, uh, uh, looking out towards the front door, the front door was not bashed open. It is still completely shut. Great. All right. Goes to uh, Zarin. Uh, I'm going to step up and right, take my shot. Damage. Your little force bolt blast into the big swirling serpent of water, and it blows some water out and kind of reforms. Um, I mean, it seems a little annoyed, though it's kind of hard to tell any visible damage on a thing that's made out of water. Of course. And All right, and then it these. goes to the hero of time, Viv Burton. So, can I just quickly through this door? Do I, I see? I think you have bigger already? concerns than that room right now. <laughs> All right. Unless the room has an exit. Um. Well, I. At this point, then, I'll take a step forward and I'll try to swack it. Swack it. Okay. Good. Handy dandy silver glaive. Okay. Uh, first attack seems to glance off some sort of uh, magical armor, and you guys still have your backup swing. And your backup swing smacks right through it. Um, let's see. Do, do, boo, do, boo. Okay. Um, it seemed to, you know, knock out some of the water, um, but it definitely seems to be less bothered by it. All right. Uh, do you wish to do any other movements? Uh, I'll take a leaving or taking a step back wouldn't prevent a attack of opportunity, would it? Uh, let me look. In this case, no, it doesn't look like it has reach. Cool, I'll take a step back. Okie dokie. All right. So, serpent hisses at you. Maybe it's like a gurgly hiss. Bubbly hiss? A gurgly hiss. Gurgly. It's, it's a, it's carbonated, uh, water serpent. <laughs> The most dangerous kind. It's like a big, giant, bland sprite. All right. So it's going to go ahead and step forward. Go ahead and do your reaction attack. Here we go. And okay. miss. All right. And it's going to go ahead and attempt to wrap around this uh, panther. Yeah. If it knows anything from its Pokédex, cats hate water. So yeah. it's going to go ahead and attack. And misses. Wow. It's Count your blessings. New round. <laughs> Go Panther Man. Uh, your attacks as a panther, I believe it's just one. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, yeah, you don't have multi-attack. I'll check. It was bad, man. Uh, you can either do Bite for 1d6 plus 2 or Claw for 1d6, uh, 1d4 plus 2. One's piercing, one's slashing. I'll do the, I'll do the Bite. Okay, it's uh, 1d20 plus, two, uh, plus 4. Well, it's water. <laughs> it's not hard you to get bite right off. into it, and you're like, oh, God. Oh, it's like Europe. <laughs> They're freaking bottles of carbonated water. <laughs> Ugh. It's that feeling you get when you buy water and didn't realize it was carbonated, and you drink it, and you're like, oh, I, God, I mean, it burns the tongue. <laughs> this is less, being a panther in this case is less about damage output <laughs> and more about not dying instantly. I have to point out that this panther probably has a better taste to, uh, sense of taste, and it's just making that bubbly to, bubbliness even worse. Anyway, back to Kara. <laughs> All right, Kara's like, uh, clutching her ribs, pulling out her deck of cards, and blasting away with some uh, Ray of Frost. All right, she blasts away with some Ray of Frost. Uh, kind of parts of it kind of of the water kind of freeze and now it's like carbonated water with like little ice cubes in it but it seemed to do it seemed to annoy it so it may be getting hurt by it and she's like uh yeah i'm gonna go this way okay uh ghost two uh zarin
I am I am going to um, be really unoriginal here. <laughs> ah, <Aww. laughs> it's because you made fun of it. If you hadn't made fun of the Elder's Blast, it wouldn't have given you a one. That's how this works in the RNG. Where did, where did the uh, where did the other caster female go? Uh, you saw her go around the other corner. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh, you're so concerned. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you wish to move anywhere? No, I'm no, I'm good where I'm at. Okay, sounds good. Uh, goes to Biv Burton, Hero of Time. All right, I'm gonna follow up with the classics. Okay. All right, that first attack hits. Uh, once again, it seems to slice right through it. Um, it still seems to take some of its mass out, but it definitely is. If it's not, compared to the things you've been like claving through for the past, I don't know, several minutes or hours or whatever, how long this you've been in this keep, uh, it's not very satisfying slashing at water. Cool. Well, I'm going to follow up with that unsatisfied fun by hitting it again. Okay. And you hit it with some more unsatisfying blows, but it's it seems to be wearing it down little by little. Uh, do you wish to move anywhere or stay in place? I will do another five foot. Okay. Okay, dokie. All right, goes to uh, Carbonated Serpent Man. Uh, Carbonated Serpent Man is going to go ahead and focus on the kitty cat. I have done nothing to it. it well, it has done nothing to you. <laughs> so I guess it's even. <laughs> yeah, I guess it is. <laughs> All right, goes to... Um, I'm going to... Go, go, so, go. You want to bite them? Try again and <laughs> bite again at the water. Gonna get the experience of carbonated goodness. I, it's you're, you're going getting better than I rolled you did, last you did, time. No, you did 200% better there. <laughs> I did twice as well. Twice as well. All right, goes to Kara Lore. Uh, Kara's going to go ahead and use her ultimate attack, Ray of Frost, and hits for four. I'm obviously just the ultimate dodge tank. Obviously, with your lowest AC ever. <laughs> that was the trick. Your transformation lowered your AC to fool him. Okay, goes to uh, Zeran. You gotta hype up your attack. That makes your dive rolls higher. I'm gonna use three charges of the magic missile. Okie dokie. On, on the snake thing, obviously. Alright, that'll be 5d4 plus 5. Okay, subtract your charges as I put up a shield. Just kidding. He takes, he gets, you blow a bunch of chunks of water out of it and it's hissing and angered and Stan gl glares right at the cap. No, just kidding. Glares right at you. <laughs> Alright, takes the damage. All right, goes to <laughs> yeah, goes to Biff Burton. I'm behind the cat, let's go. Oh boy, gonna step forward and try to stab it. If I can. Uh, there you go. You got it. Okay, you hit. It definitely seems to like be getting smaller, and the second attack misses, unfortunately. All. all right this thing i'm actually very disappointed in this creature so i'm just gonna roll one more time and this i didn't roll above i didn't roll double digits a single fucking time this battle <laughs> so count your blessings guys <laughs> i would say i have no lie but i did in fact roll a 50 on initiative <laughs> <laughs> all right all right go um um panther burton hiss at it more as i try to I'll try to actually do attacks <laughs> uh, 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 did better, but it bounces off. It seems like kind of some sort of force off. armor. Yeah, some sort of magic armor, essentially. All right, goes to Kara Lore, and Kara is going to be like, uh, uh, you, she's kind of not impressed in this, this thing. It's like it's not really an elemental. It's kind of made out of water. Kind of neat. Was well, kind of threatening. But it can't seem to do anything to a cat, so Ray of Frost. Alright, she blasts it with a 
beam of icy goodness and the remains of the uh, serpent freeze over and shatter into a bunch of little uh, pieces, small chunks of ice as it slowly melts away. That was, uh... <laughs> that was less climatic than I thought. <laughs> Alright, one moment. Alright, so, uh... We'll go ahead and put this down for now. After that very uninspired combat. Um, so yeah, the thing dissipates. Uh, I'll see if anything's left behind. As I flip through pages and try to fathom what has happened. Well, that was easier than it seemed. Way to go, team. <laughs> um, hooray! Hooray. Anyway, um, so as the, the, I guess the water and stuff melts away, um, there is a key. In it. All right. A key. A key. I'm going to stay in. I'm staying in panther form as long as... <laughs> okay. So once again, yeah, once again, the dust has settled. Um, you don't really have any eyes in the sky anymore, so you don't know if anyone's coming or not. Um, Can I explore this room? Sure. I'd like to pick up the key. All right, go ahead and add the key. All right, old book bookshelves line the walls of this room, but, but most are empty. One odd old shelf has been cleared and restocked with a selection of tomes. A single bunk in, sits under the narrow window at the far end of the room. Near a small desk, a wooden chair, a chest, or, and a chest. The floor looks wet. Well, it's even more wet because you killed that other thing that was in there. Is the chest locked? Uh, chest is not locked. What's in the chest? I'm pretty sure you looted this already. Wait, did you? Did we get books and scrolls? Oh yeah, it was the uh, it was the Jasper, right? Two, yeah, yeah, uh, two yeah. Scrolls. Yeah, you act. Book. Yeah, yeah. You've already got this stuff. Uh, okay, but yeah, sorry. but yeah, there was a bunch of books in here. Um, I just pulled up my notes, and there it is. Yeah, so yeah, no problem. I I, I recalled I, you guys searched some sort of room. I don't. Remember. It was probably that one, and yeah, it was that definitely that one. All right. Um. So yeah, there was about a dozen books. Um. You haven't really had time to read over it, and they're not exactly in the best condition or situation to probably be flipping through books at the moment. No, they're just in the backpack, ready to go. Right. We'll look at them later. <laughs> All right. Uh, as, what, yeah, as for the what, room that was kicked open, uh, it's a large semicircular room, occupies the western half of this floor of the keep. Three narrow windows look out over the countryside outside the castle walls. Uh, the room's furnishings are very plain, including a hard-looking bunk, a small wooden table, and a couple of simple chairs. Several large chests occupy the room's southern uh, corner. Are the chests locked? Uh, they're mimics. No. Uh, let me see. I have I have Biv check and see if the lock <laughs> unlocks with the key that's around his neck uh, for this door to see if that was this what this key's for. No, there's. Oh, you mean on the door the door that's been kicked open? Yes. It is not for that door, uh, for that lock. Ooh, okay. Snake has challenged us with a key. That you'll now. That's probably the cruelest thing I could do as a DM is give you a key that goes to nothing. <laughs> All right. We spend the entire session wandering the keep, looking for this. Key <laughs> Just <wall>. combing it. <laughs> it's plenty of time for reinforcements to come. No. <laughs> anyway, so you guys search. Um, so inside the chest, well, the all the chest is kind of. A, all piled together. Uh, 600 silver. 450 electrum. Yeah. Fucking electrum. Yeah, you love it. Uh, a pouch containing 15 blue azurites. And that's it. Is there anything else about the chests? It's a lot of large chest for not a lot of stuff. Well, I guess the gold takes up, or silver takes up a lot of space, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, you're talking, you're talking like six hundred coins. <laughs> or, sorry, over a thousand coins. <laughs> okay, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Carrying on. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. All right. Well, we have a barbarian. That's okay. <laughs> carry things. Um, I'm gonna roll perception. See if I hear anything. Uh, go ahead. Uh, 
drops of drop like droplets of water like from on puddles and stuff from probably from wherever the thing came from um eerily quiet for the most part besides maybe the, the wheezing of various party members that are heavily wounded all right i head downstairs okay is everyone else going downstairs following yeah all right here's like I'll, I'll just put everyone together and then i'll transfer you over that's never a good sign. Well, I have the sorts of floors. <laughs> it's easier to keep to keep up this way. All right. So just shift over to the right, and you should be able to see. Uh, oh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do a description of this room, because I don't know if I actually did one. Uh, this room is a great hall. Do, do, do. Oh, actually, I have. Yes, I have. Never mind. All right. Is there anything of note in the desk? Uh, let's find out. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So, yeah, there's a bunch of papers on the table. But that's about it. Nothing that sticks out? Uh, you would have to spend some time sifting through the papers and reading through it if you want to know anything. Is there, is there enough papers that I can just pick them up and pocket them for an investigation later? Well, since you've got picked up 12 bucks, I'm pretty sure papers is probably easier. <laughs> so yeah, you can go ahead and grab all the papers. You can call them Z papers. Uh, they're papers from desk. <laughs> papers from desk. T top door, bottom door, or main door? Well, we know where the main door goes. Yeah. I'm all for leaving that barred for now, because... Yeah, you can see that the door's, like, soaking wet and stuff. Uh, it's still barred, still locked. So, it's... So, what you're saying is the guy went through the door? Went through the door as water. I mean, it was water. <laughs> can I hear anything on the other side of the main door? Um... No. Eerily quiet at this point. Anything on the other side of the door I'm at? <clears throat> all right. Uh, no. Is the door open? Uh, yes. Door opens. All right. Progress. As the party limps along. It's our specialty. Still alive, man. Still alive. Alive is a relative term at this point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, two large hearths on the north wall of this room hold kettles of full of simmering stew. Actually, they're pretty much empty at this point. Wash basins and work tables with old uh, battered crockery stand um, in the middle of the room. Sacks, casks, and barrels are piled along the southern wall. Cheeses and smoked fish hang from the ceiling. Kitchen. Can I hear anything on my door? Uh, let's find out. Uh, you hear whimpering, I suppose. What? Whimpering. I'm gonna trail back to my homies. Nothing, nothing of note in the kitchen to take. Uh, there's some sacks of flour and dozens of cask of uh. Dozen, a dozen cask of ale, and then some barrels that hold salted meat. Not exactly stuff you can. Sure. Not exactly stuff you can carry easily. Right, and we're not. You know, you don't have like you don't have things like a wagon or anything to transfer transport th things like that. It, no, but it it would probably be worth something. But like I said, it's for the effort. To get yeah, it's 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 it's, it's, the, it's the Skyrim rule. You're comparing the weight to cost ratio, and it's a bit high. <laughs> We'll leave the so, barbarian here. We'll take the tall cast. <laughs> <in this place. laughs> that's how that's how it works. That's how parties work. Who do Shed you, weight. Who do, you, who do you think is carrying the books and all this? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's obviously me here. Obviously, it's Kara with one hand. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. So, guys, I think I found someone whimpering in the other room. We should check that out. Okay, let's go check out the other room. There's also a door right I, there. 
I saw the door. You, um, you, you, did you see this door that's right there? <laughs> no, I did not. Think I'm gonna the door, it, it's, it has a sign that says, not a mimic. I'm standing um. back because I'm still, I still look like a panther. Uh-huh. So whatever could be in there whimpering, maybe at best not if it's whimpering. The greatest foe of all panthers a is a kid with a water hose chasing you down. So I'm going to test to see if the door is unlocked. It is unlocked. Oh, I guess that'd be the first thing to check. Unlock the, uh, I'm going to open the door while quietly saying hello, uh, trying to see if the other person is uh, on the other side. All right. Uh, this plain dormitory features six bunk beds and a small uh, wooden table and chairs, as well as two large laundry tubs and several baskets full of dirty clothes. All right, so in here, there are a bunch of humans and more humans, and I'm just seeing what, what else we got in the list here. I think they're all human. Until I find out otherwise, they're all human. <laughs> So yeah, a whole lot of humans. Uh, they look uh, rather terrified. Def they don't have. They don't appear to have any weapons or armor or anything that stands out that says they have. You know, they are combatants. Do they respond to me saying hello, or are they just crying? Uh, they're. With your appearance of wearing about the blood of about 30 enemies, um, they are pretty scared. <laughs> um, hi, are y'all the help here? Uh, some, some of them kind of speak up. They're like, they, they took us. They've been making us do labor here. You gotta get out of here before the boss shows up. Who's the boss? Uh, let's see. What sort of description could I give for this person? Man, I hope it's that water snake, because that would be easy. <laughs> that would be very convenient, wouldn't it? The mini-boss was harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the the battle that you ended last session with, it, <laughs> with was harder. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can find a description for this guy. Um, a big, buff, shirtless guy, uh, doesn't really know nonsense, no sense of humor, really hates people. Um, he kind of leaves in the middle of the night, but he comes back pretty soon. Um, I mean, yeah, he might be back soon. So maybe, maybe, magic? it's maybe a few hours before, uh, before dawn, he'll show up. We've heard th we've heard he's ruthless, and uh, he flogged some of us for trying to escape. Well, we're pretty battered ourselves. Um, you probably should get out of here. Where are y'all from? Uh, majority of them are from Womford. Others. Other places in um, in Desert Valley, but majority of them are from Womford. Well, if we cut our exploring short, we can probably get out of here with these people. Maybe. I mean, you can't rely. I mean, I can't really tell you that. It's, I think getting out now is a good idea, uh, especially if this guy is that scary, and we got a break with the, the snake, so uh, seems like a good time. The the group is pretty reluctant to leave. They they're like he'll catch us. He caught he caught the last people that ran away. All all of his help is no longer helping him. I, this is not in character. <laughs> With the last people that ran away, pro cowards. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have help <laughs> catching the people that ran off. Uh, 
Uh, Carol, go ahead and speak up a little bit. It's like, well, well, you, you, we fought a lot of things. Uh, the majority of them were, I guess, I if I were to use your adventuring terms, would be classified as mook. My classification would probably be minion. Um, just to help know of any prominent wizards in the, uh, in the keep normally? Um, I mean, they, they kind of assume some of them probably know some sort of magic and stuff, but it's not exactly something that's been shown in front of them. They may kind of just tap their head down and just try to do their work and stay out of trouble. So if there isn't any secret ways out of the keep, guys? Uh, let's see. There is, actually, uh, one of them will point out that there is uh, some sort of secret door in, in the room you're in, but they don't know where it goes. Where is this door? Mm. Let's see. It should be behind the, um, the the chair, which there's a chair right there. I want to try to find the door. All right, investigate. He puts his head through the wall. <laughs> All right. So. Boop, 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 boop. I lean on the wall and the yeah. door opens. You do a do the Scooby Doo. <laughs> All right. Bloop. Spiral staircase going downwards. So probably it doesn't lead out of the, out of the keep. Well, doesn't lead out of the the fort. <laughs> Oh, this is ominous. Do I hear anything terrifying coming from below the uh, uh You would do a perception, I suppose. Nope. Besides the sniffling coming from um, the room, the the servant quarters that you're recently in, mostly eerily quiet. Grr. Just the stench of water and blood and carbonation. What could go wrong? Well, guys, I'm not too sure if I really remember how to get out of here. <laughs> you climb the wall. Back upstairs, down the wall, out the gate. <laughs> if you... If you wish to do any sort of rest, just uh, remember it's it's you pretty much have to pick one or the other. You either have to do short rest or do long rest. And if long rest gets interrupted, it's all or nothing. And how long? Uh, it's about an hour. An hour. And you. And how far off? Are we uh, from they said dawn? it was going to be. It's a. Uh, you got a f uh, few hours before dawn, and he they stated that he usually shows up a little bit before dawn. So you might be able to squeeze it, assuming nothing else is around, which, I mean, you don't really have much information about this place, to be honest. I mean, you got you got some aerial info at night, and you fought a whole lot of guys, but beyond that, you don't really know much about the keep itself. Was... And so far, every time you said, you know, what could go wrong, something went wrong. But, but yeah, as far as, like, a short rest is concerned, it's probably, probably the, it, it is a safer option than doing uh, a full rest in a unknown area. <laughs> also, if you do a short rest, you can Probably spend as many of your hit die as possible, I believe. So, yeah. So, at the very least, at, at the best case scenario, it'll we'll get you some hit points back. <laughs> your warlock will also get spells back. I I don't know if anyone else. Warlock yeah, warlock will get spells, spells back. back. <laughs> I don't know what other belt. No, yeah, I don't think anyone else back. has any uh, <laughs> <laughs> short rest based abilities. <laughs> Yeah, but that gives us at least two cure, cure wounds at level two. And it does. Plus, you know, other attacking spells based on whatever else we need. You right. know what I mean? 
Yeah. Plus three charges of magic yep. missile. That would be a thing. But yeah, uh, choice is yours. Um, the way you guys came up here, obviously, was by climbing the wall, but now oh, you yeah. have kind of control over most of the area, so if you, <laughs> you have options as far as escape is concerned. I say we pool our wealth, fortify the keep, and become a, make it our stronghold. <laughs> I second. So. Uh, have to start. Uh, um, I s if the people don't want to leave, we can either short rest, wait for the boss, and hope we can win with what we got. Um, or, I mean, we can lay an ambush for him because he won't be, well, I mean, when he shows up, he'll be expecting it at that point. But, um, I mean, we, we could take the element of surprise on him if we, if we wanted. That might help us a little bit, but if, uh. Or we can we can go, or I. Or we can keep looking around. Well, if leave, we have the best chance of healing. Uh, but then we also there's also a chance by if we try to come back, it will be even harder to do it. Right. Sorry, I cut off a little bit there. Um. I mean, Carol will speak up. It's like that's also assuming whoever that that captures these uh, people that flee, don't try to track us down as well. That is also... That is a very good point. <laughs> Might as well finish what we started then. Let's find a safe place to, to heal up. So, rest. Is, is, the vote, we, is the vote short rest or long rest? We don't have time for a short rest before dawn, right? You mean long no, rest. You, 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 long you rest. mean long rest. Yeah, long rest is eight hours unless you're an elf, which... I have yet to see anyone play an elf since I've started DMing again. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, a short rest is one hour. Can we look in the room in the the kitchen first? Make sure just yeah. finish clearing out the keep. Then at least we've got the barricaded door. It, it, the front it, it's and... it's um, there was another door in the um, the dorm area. It's the same door. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I, I didn't I didn't look in the dorm room. Yeah, no worries. So. Okay. Yeah, no worries. You're like, I gotta check out this room. Oh, well, that was disappointing. I never. <laughs> with you, you never know. <laughs> what with me? I'm not the one that makes this map. <laughs> so well, is, you, there, you... is there any? Uh, can I check to see if the key fits the front door? If there's any lock outside? No, the not really. I mean, the doors. This the front door is not really locked. It's, I guess you would say it's just barred. All right, I guess we say we try and get the short rest and then set an ambush for, for the boss that shows up. All right, uh, where do you want to go ahead and do a short right. rest at? That's in the lavish room upstairs with the view of everything. Yeah, and can I close the secret door? Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and reclose it. Um, I'll put a mark. I'll put a marker to show you we found this. Such nice adventurers closing their doors. Yeah. Where are you guys from? A barn? Well, my background does shut up. <laughs> Not barn. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't. I think I've only seen one of uh, adventurer that had a background that involved, you know, being from a farm. <laughs> All right, I'll move you guys to the, uh, the the second floor, which is where the nicer rooms are at. All right. Um, so yeah, just pick a room, and you can get settled up in it. Obviously, I'll assume you close the door that's down here that leads out. Um, Does it have a lock on it? Uh, you can bar it, I believe, but I'll check. Uh, uh, bar. Yeah, it can be barred. Can we bar it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exterior doors can be barred. Actually, no, you can't because you kicked it open. No, wait, no, it's been open. So no, that one's good. You're good. <laughs> you didn't break that one. <laughs> we, we broke the one we're in. Yeah, yeah, because the yeah. the reavers came out of that door. So yeah, you're fine. Okay. Um. So yeah, you'll go ahead and it's just a short rest, so there's no need for shifts or anything like that. Um. 
you guys have three hit die, so you have three hit die worth of rolls you can do. And, uh, yeah. What you mean is, we have three hit die we're going to spend. <laughs> that would probably be a wise decision, yes. <laughs> I'm at 29. I'm at my... I... Yeah. Uh, your, shape, yeah your, gonna... your shape change will wear off, obviously. So. Oh, yes. So you're at 13 AC, I believe. So I'll fix that for you. 14. 14? Oh, you're fancy, aren't you? All right. Shield. Yeah. Okay. Um. It's a bunch of HPs. Did you kill yourself the four with one hit die, Hayden? <laughs> no, I did the seven one. I I did. Oh, I see. Okay, I see the die rolls. Okay. Um. All right. Yeah, cause yeah, the warlock had the most hit points at the end of this. Uh. All right. Well, Carol will do hers as well. Uh. One. Two. Yeah, there we go. That was enough to get her back to full. I'm back to full too. <laughs> everyone's actually looking. I mean, everyone's bandaged up. Uh, uh, Kara's having a bit easier time breathing now after her ribs have been tended to. Um, yeah, help, help her bandage up. <laughs> yeah, her ribs. Every, all of you guys have been kind of bandaging each other up and trying to recover. Um, Zern, you get your spell slots back. Um, no interruptions occurred. Uh, I'm just going to check one more. I'm going to check real quick to see if I do actually. I'm pretty sure I don't get spells back as a card caster, but I'll check just for you guys. How nice. Yeah. Well, you know, because you use all the help you can get. <laughs> uh, do, 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 when you complete a long rest, blah, blah, blah. Card caster. When you do, do, activate your power. The uses are yeah, uses are restored on long rest. That's mainly because I get technically I get more quote unquote slots in a warlock. All right, so no, she doesn't get anything back, but she still has our ray of frost. Okay, so you guys rest. Can for... I, oh, go ahead. Can I take the last ten minutes to summon a hawk? Uh, let me look at that component again. I want to say that spell is kind of something you probably should do in town. Probably <laughs> so. I don't, I don't think I can actually get it done on a short rest with the actual ritual, because the ritual adds time to it, right? Yeah, it's like 10 minutes, which, I mean, compared to the hour long you've been resting, it's not terrible. But I might just say it's, since it, since it's a, let's see... No, yeah, brass time an hour. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it'd be, an, yeah, it'd be an hour and 10 minutes, so yeah, that'd be pretty long. Also, it requires, you know, to burn things in a brass brazier, which... You're probably not going to be lugging that around. <laughs> no, of course not. Yeah. No, so, no, it's cool. Uh, it's, good, it's good to kind of figure it out. And to be honest, Steve Al probably doesn't want to come back. No. <laughs> hey, Steve was epic in that battle, right? <laughs> he killed one person. <laughs> that's, a not, that's a decent amount for familiar. <laughs> he's he's going to rival my familiar in freaking Pathfinder. <laughs> All right. Um, it's definitely getting... It's still dark out, um, but you, it's definitely getting closer to dawn. Um, if you, you haven't heard anything yet, I mean, you kind of are inside the keep. But if you do have any sort of planning or some sort of setup you want to do, now's the time to do it. Our plan, not die. HP greater than zero. Can't fail. I mean, that is the goal. We assume he would come through the front door, yeah? Uh, maybe up the river. Maybe that's why the boat's not there. Maybe he's going to come with a boat full of people and we're just screwed. Yeah, and the main gate, remember, is, is a main gate for a castle wall, essentially, which is not something it's, as far as you know, it's still shut as well as the Porculus. Can we go check on that? Uh, yes, you can. Um, you can go along the wall um, south to the uh, the other tower if you want to. Uh, is that a consensus for everybody? Yeah, that sounds fine. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so I'll move you guys to the wall first, and then I'm gonna, I'll just move you guys all together uh, to kind of give an idea of where you guys are you guys can, you know, survey the damage and dead bodies that you see along the way. <laughs> All right. And let's see. Boop. Boop. Freaking thug. Got in my way. There we go. And yeah, there's a door down to the south. I think it's still open, but we won't worry about it. All right. So let me shift you to the second floor of that building. Boop. Okay. Uh, so quick description. Where did we go? Uh, far left. All the all, found us. Yeah, yeah. All the different floors on the on the left side. 
All right. Uh, this room above the castle gatehouse features doors that lead out to the tops of the walls to the north and to the east. Stairs lead down to the floor below. A chain mechanism in the northern half of the room positioned over the main gate raises or lowers the gate bars. Another controls the portcullis. So there, it's kind of hard to see, but there are these little turning things there and there. Um, okay. Another, yeah. Three holes in the floor, each about a foot square, look down on the patches below. So you can see into the little tunnel that's between the Apocalypse and the main gates. Uh, currently, you don't see anything in there, and both are currently shut. So the chains are down? Uh, the the, the Apocalypse is down, and the gate is shut. Yeah. Yep. Um, stairs going down are here, and then there's a door here that is probably still open that leads out to the southern wall. Anything else of note in this room? Uh... Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, uh, so looking, you see a, uh, looks to be, I probably should have made you do an investigation, but whatever. A, you find a locked wooden coffer under his, uh, under one person's bunk. Would that have been enough? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, it is locked. We have a key. Oh, key time, key time. Right. Tell me my key, uh, key. That key does not fit. Can I go search the bodies of the people that look important on the wall that we killed outside earlier? Um, so you'll, I'll say you start on the wall, and you check the first two bandits that are dead. Uh, nothing, and then you get to the guy that had the heavy crossbow, and he does have a key. Hey. It's on a string around his oh. neck. I take the key. Okay. And head back to the chest to open the chest. Hopefully. All right, that was a key of making to a mimic. No, it, yeah, it works. Um... So here's your writing down shit. Uh, 150 silver. 40 gold pieces. Two potions. Or two vials, rather. I taste them. Alright, one is a potion of healing. The other one I need to look up. <laughs> potion of instant Potion death. of mimic. Potion of owlbear owl strength. No. <laughs> yes! What I always wanted. It is a potion. It seems to. It should be. It seems to be a potion that's designed to reduce your size. What? Says the barbarian oh. who likes being huge. <laughs> okay. Anything else in the box? Nope. Just those two potions and uh, the, the money. All right. One second. Okay. Continue. I give the potion to the barbarian since he's our frontline man. All right, sounds good. And I and I have healing spells right now. I'll hold on to the rest of the stuff for the moment until. Why would I want to be small? So we can jump down the hole and run away. <laughs> it's no, it's okay. a, it's essentially the I mean with your with the obviously two arcane casters. Uh, well, I, I don't know what card casters actually classify as, but as two two scholars. Um, you can kind of gather that shrinking is probably, it's probably about the level of, like, the reduced spell, which is the opposite of the enlarged spell. Got it. So, see, if I turn into a large enough creature, you can ride into battle on my back. Because <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what the party is lacking right now. <laughs> it's mounts. Mount is a mount <laughs> mount a can we go downstairs? Uh, yeah. Um, is that a you consensus for everybody? Um, sure. Was the south gate door open? Uh, yeah, yeah. This one it just leads out onto the the south wall. Can I just poke my head out and see if I see any terrifying people riding towards the keep or anything? Uh, like you can that. do a, yeah, you can do a perception. I'll say you up to the the, the freaking wherever this is called the ramparts. Uh, so far it seems to be okay. It's definitely still pretty dark. Um, and obviously human vi vision is limited. But as far as looking around the keep itself. Definitely, it's carnage. Uh, freaking, there's definitely smoke kind of still pour, uh, coming out of the uh, the burning barracks, which I think is a stone building. So that really, it's only the insides that's burning. Um, but yeah, you haven't seen anything that says big giant evil thing coming yet. Cool. Yeah, downstairs seems 
safe Ooh. enough outside. All right, I'll go ahead and move you guys over. Technically, you guys could split up, but I don't think that's what you guys want. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, all right, the gate's open to a... Wait, is that the right one? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so here you can see that there's a arrow slit to kind of see into the gatehouse, or the little pat patches or whatever. Um, and that's really all I can get. So there's some places to rest in here, and... Oh, sorry, there's a description. Okay, this is the ground floor of the great gatehouse tower. A door leads to the east, um, and stairs climb to the floor above. Arrow slits in this room offer a view of the ground outside the castle and the gate passage to the north. Two double uh, bunks stand against the walls. Okay, and that is it. I take it I'm not finding anything with that investigation check. Uh, I mean, searching through the area, it doesn't seem to. Ha There's nothing like. So far, I mean, most of the stuff you've been finding has been in obvious chests and things like that, so you, ha you kind of look under the beds and all that and didn't really find anything. Yeah, have we previously been through this door? I don't think so, right? That leads to the ground floor. Yeah, and I think that door's... Yeah. That door's I think that... It's, it's unlocked. I mean, it's obviously unlocked, and it's it leads out into the uh, courtyard. Cool. I think the only place we haven't been at this point is the church, but we're running low on time if we want to try and set a trap for anybody that might show up at dawn. You're right. We still don't know where they're going to come from. It's something we probably should have asked the help. They didn't really know. Yeah. I think. I mean, I think you guys kind of mentioned the question. They don't really know. They just know he kind of leaves at night and kind of just comes back at you know before dawn. Where did we see, or where did you see the wizard, uh, the warlock? That killed the, uh, the owl. In the courtyard, in front of the uh, keep. Yeah, you don't. You, it's you. You kind of assumed it was um, based off kind of what little information you got from the owl before it got exploderated. Um, it was coming from or the east, the southeast, essentially coming towards the barracks. So it'd probably be along the direction of where the the water is and the south uh, east tower. Which is the tower that has the chain that goes across the, um, about to say, the water chain's gate. still in place, right? What's that? Chain's still in place? Uh, chain is still in place. Okay. Which, well, which means if that chain is in place, that means boats won't be able to get through it. Exactly. They will have to either slam or scale the wall. Well, boats can't get through. I'm sure there's so many people. And water snakes. Water snakes. Water snakes. Carbonated. Yeah. Caffeine-free, low-carbonated water snakes, actually. Okay, so either we can explore the church or we can set up for our uh, attack. I mean, we don't have much setup possible. <laughs> we're we're I mean, about as good as we're going to get, right? You got walls. I, I think we can <laughs> set up. Say again, hey, the, um, the warlock dude, he said he was outside of the keep. He was outside. He was, in the he, he, was he, he, he was outside the keep, um, okay. but He's probably in the head now. but you, yeah, you haven't seen any sort sort of caster since then. Hmm. Well, I guess we, I suggest we hang out near the port area. If anyone's going to show up through there, maybe. Uh, we did see that guy near it, kind of. So might as well, should set up shop somewhere. We also have that uh, secret door. We don't know where it goes. And I... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, indeed. I say we go back to the main keep, unbar the door, and then destroy anything that comes in from the front or through the back. <laughs> Love it. Let's do it. Sure. <laughs> well, I... We still have a key that we have no idea what it goes to. I'm guessing it's something downstairs. Probably. Um, mystery that's, door. A good, that's a good guess. So, where do you guys wish to set up in the keep if you're going to go to the keep? 
I'm going to be on the first floor. All right. We'll put you guys on the first floor for now. I'm not sure we want to split up. <laughs> Let the party. What could go wrong? I'm across like very little space over just different It's not like floors. there's invisible enemies all over the place. All right. So this is the bottom floor of the keep. Can we flip the table over? You can. Use it as cover from the front door. Uh, sure. We'll do this. Okay. We'll do we'll do some shapes. You like shapes, right? Don't you? Shapes are Yay! shapes. Are, shapes are fantastic. Shapes and colors, man. Shapes and colors. So this thing is three wide. Oh yeah. So we can just do something like I don't know. Blah. Blah. The trick question is bolted to the floor the entire time. <laughs> uh, only the flask. Can we unbolt and open the front door so we have a line of sight? So you want to open this door? Sorry, I, was, I wasn't sure what you were asking. Yes, but the doors upstairs are still bolted, correct? Sure. Okie dokie. I see. We'll leave that open then. There we go. Yeah. All right, so we can see outside. You can see outside, and you got this nice little thing of, of stuff. So our ranged people can nail anybody that comes into view as soon as they come into view, and our melee people can keep us from being flanked from the hidden door that's behind us. Oh, right. If that's the way they choose yeah. to come. And we have the table for cover. Okie dokie. I think that's going to be our best course of action until the spellcaster shows up and fireballs us. Fire tidal wave. <laughs> no lines, no groups. All right. Um, so for the sake of uh, explanation, uh, this table that's on the actual map is no longer there. It's now represented by this little block thing. So if you want, don't worry about that as far as impeding movement or anything like that. So position where you want to position. Um, you definitely. Um, eventually hear a loud howl um, coming from the courtyard. I'm going to make sure I have a, a javelin just kind of hopefully close in the ground, if not like pierced into the ground sticking up so I can get to it as All quick right. as possible. Alright, I like this formation. I don't. I, 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 where, do you, where do you want me? <laughs> not in a line. All right, uh, Druid here, maybe? Or... Okay. Yes, you. that way we're not in a line, so we can't get, you know, wrecked too we badly. We are in a line, but sure. Oh, well, the two of us are, and then, yeah. It, it, the most they'll get is two, I hope. <laughs> I could God, stand I right hope. here. I could stand right here. <laughs> the table is, I mean, this table's, like, ten feet wide, so definitely it's, like, it will block line of sight. So you're gonna, if you're going to shoot around it, you're going to have to literally be on the edges. So I could just throw an Eldritch Blast through the door from where I'm standing, if, as soon as I see somebody. Yeah, we can say that. Okay, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ready my Eldritch Blast and kind of hang out. I could stand here so we're none of us are in the line with each other. <laughs> like playing Sudoku. 